If you were on the roads in New Jersey this morning, you'd know how bad it was. I live in Jackson, so it was pretty rough over there. The roads, the roads weren't really plowed yet, and then freehold, and then starting to break up now the closer I get to work, so it's not bad. I came from an elephant, so it, I mean, the roads are slippery. They're, you know, they're just wet. If you take your time and don't speed, you'll be fine. As forecast, the storm blanketed New Jersey from the overnight through the early morning rush, and by morning, they were counting the totals. Union Township, New Jersey was one of a number of Jersey towns that got the max of six inches. You didn't need to tell Maria Sierra that. She was chipping out her driveway this morning, admiring the job DPW crews did on the streets. They clean good. Yeah. This year they really do a great job. <laughs> Most township residents were cleaning up the white stuff during the day under a welcome sun, except for a few that had a little fun with it. The township's mayor says a big part of his town's success was the state of emergency issued by Governor Phil Murphy ahead of the storm, and the fact that many Union Township residents listened and stayed off the roads. We put out our own code red locally. I, I did a message last night at about 8, 830. We try to get all our cars off the streets, anybody who can, and we ask them to go to our local parking lots, which allows us to have those streets pretty clear so that we can plow easily. Crews took the rest of the day to clean up the second and third tier roadways, thankful for the sunshine, but with the full knowledge that plunging temps tonight will result in a much harder freeze. It's sunny right now, there's a breeze, but they're saying temperatures are going down into the 20s with a wind chill possibly in the teens. So this will all refreeze tonight. We'll have a salting operation beginning again as sundown. Deacon Leslie Lenore was working to get things cleaned up outside of the United Hope Seventh-day Adventist Church on Vauxhall for worshipers arriving tomorrow for Sabbath worship. We just cleaned the, uh, the sidewalk and we also took the, uh, our neighbor's sidewalk oh, okay. just to clean that out because, you know, she's a deadly. Oh, okay. So we're trying to help out as well. While Hamid Tara lamented a valuable lesson Always tune up your snowblower before the first snowstorm of the season. I had the machine, the snowblower, pero, but it doesn't really, it's the first time to start that it doesn't start, so yeah. we had to get the shovel going, you know, yeah. Yeah, before I sold my house, uh, that was a very hard lesson I had to learn as well. Uh, credit to Mr. Tara for having a sense of humor about it. Again, the mayor says the salting operation and a brining operation is going to begin at sundown here to make sure that the roads uh, stay safe for anyone who is going out. But again, the temperatures are going to be plummeting tonight.